thanks for joining us today here at RoofSnap. We're going to show you how to import your own drone imagery or perhaps a blueprint. Yeah, you know, many of our customers are flying drones. Mm -hmm. And that high resolution imagery that you can get when you're taking a snapshot of the house from a drone at, you know, 400 feet or so um, is going to be just about the best image you can get to use in RoofSnap. Even when compared with our high resolution imagery that already exists within RoofSnap mm -hmm. uh, or any of the other map sources that we have. So let's hop right in here on the web app. Uh, I'm going to go into the sketch scene. Uh, and the address for this project, of course, is our office here. So disregard that. We're going to bypass the image capturing uh, stuff here and just go straight to this import imagery button in the upper right hand corner. When I click on that, it's going to open up my, uh, my files and I can navigate through. I'm in a little folder I created with the drone image. So I'm going to go ahead and select that drone image and then open it up right here in RoofSnap. There we go. It's going to spin a couple times. Uh, and then it's going to load that image into the background. Now we will re-enter the sketch scene. And it's going to show us that high resolution image. Nice. But with this message here reminding us that we have to set the scale. Mm -hmm. So some tips when you're using drones to capture that imagery. Well, tip number one is high altitude. Definitely. Go as high as, um, well, I guess as the, the law allows, right? Yep. And I believe it's approximately 400 feet. Mm -hmm. If you get 20 feet above the roof and you take that image, well, that distance from the roof, you're so close. Hips and rakes, they're going to be wildly distorted. Mm -hmm. And when you look at that image and you try to draw it in roof snap, you're not going to get accurate measurements. But when you get up to 300, 400 feet and you take that image, that height that you are away from the roof really flattens out all of those linear measurements. So that when you draw on the hips and when you draw on the rakes and when you view that image and, and that drone is directly overhead, it's not going to look distorted. So when you look at your image, you're going to know right away if you were too close. It's going to have distorted and exaggerated edge lines. Mm -hmm. And don't be afraid of losing any resolution because most of the drones these days have, have great cameras on 4K them. 4K cameras, you're going to be able to zoom right in on that yeah. roof even if you are at a high altitude. Absolutely. Now, the other tip that we want to point out here has to do with setting the scale. So from a drone image, we don't know how long the ridge is. Right. We don't know how long the eave is. So you will need to take one physical measurement on site in order to set the scale here. Now, we have a few customers who've told us some of the tricks that they do for getting consistent scale when they're on site. Mm -hmm. uh, Katrina, what comes to mind for you? Um, I would say the, the one that I like to, to use and, and give here is spray painting a PVC pipe yeah, and uh, like a bright orange or yellow color maybe and popping that in the gutter line. Yeah, like a 10, 15, 20 foot section of PVC, uh, put that in the gutter, that gives you a scale mm -hmm. measurement right right on the roof itself. It's perfect, you just trace that right on the, on, off the image. Basically. Some people will also use their truck from bumper to bumper. You could see that in this image here over on the left, if there was a vehicle, your vehicle in the parking lot, and you knew how long your ladder was from end to end, you could use that as the scale. Or the most accurate way is going to be taking one physical measurement of an eave edge from end to end, not from wall to wall. You want to make sure you include those overhangs. Mm -hmm. Get from end to end. Uh, one physical measurement or a ridge measurement. Um, something that is a longer measurement. You know, if you're running a tape to get this scale measurement, get something that's 40, 50 feet. That's going to be more accurate than something that's only five or six feet. Yeah, and of course, you don't want to use a, a rake line because that is going to change based on the slope based of the roof. Based on the pitch, exactly. So, or uh, hips and valleys, too. Yeah, exactly. So let's jump right in here to the set scale and show you how it works. So I'm going to click on the OK button that I've you know, read this little message here, and it gives me a cursor. Well, I know that the distance of this eave right across the bottom of the, of the roof slope here is 53 feet. So when I click to the end, it's going to give me a dialog message. And I'm going to type in 53 feet. Now, maybe it's 53 and 5 inches. Mm -hmm. And you want to do the five inches, but this is going to be in decimal. So you're going to take five, you're going to divide it by 12. It's going to give you a decimal. Go to two decimal places. So let's say it's 53.47, something like that. Perfect. Yep. So put it in as a decimal, uh, your number of inches over 12. And then click OK. 
Then we have a set scale, and we can then proceed right into the drawing of the roof. Perfect. If you have any other questions about importing a drone image, please let us know. Um, Katrina, should we take a second and show them how to do this with um, an architectural drawing as well? Yeah, why All don't right. we? Because you can import uh, not only your drone imagery, but also your architectural drawings. Now, as you can see here, I do have a blueprint image uh, ready to go to upload into this project. So I'm going to click on that one, and the process is very similar to using a drone image. You'll see we have to jump right back into the sketch scene once the image is uploaded. But setting the scale is pretty much the same process. On this um, blueprint, we do have some linear measurements um, already here on the drawing. So this is going to make it really easy for us to set scale. I'm going to move this over here into the center, and I'm going to focus on this line that is 17 feet 2 inches. So again, you're going to take the number of inches and divide that by 12. Uh, so we've, we've done the math, and that is uh, rounding to up to two decimal places is going to be 0.17, mm -hmm. uh, 17.17. So we're going to start over here on the left, and you want to be real precise. Make sure your, your crosshairs are right on the intersection, and then come all the way over here to the end of that line. And I feel like a little bit more to the right. I feel pretty good about right there. And then I'm going to go, oh wait, right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on that and put in that 17.7. And click on OK. Now that's going to give us the scale directly from the architectural drawing. From there, of course, we can draw out all of the lines of the roof just like we were doing it on a, uh, on a drone image or on the existing imagery that we have in RoofSnap. Uh, so if you have any questions about um, importing your imagery, uh, we're not experts here at RoofSnap with, um, say, reading really complicated architectural plans. This, of course, is a pretty straightforward residential steep slope roof. Uh, but we'll do our best to make sure that you're enabled in um, uploading that imagery. And if, you know, if we can help with you, uh, you know, understanding some of the lines in the drawing or getting a scale, you know, we'll, we'll definitely do our best in that. Um, any questions, though, please get in touch with us. At 877-ROOFSNAP. <laughs> Give us a call. Thanks so much, Katrina. Thanks so much.